Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts where we have an official gameplay overview trailer for the game Lords of the Fallen. I have seen a lot about this game. I do want to play it. I do think it's available on um, Steam, but I do think also that's another Lords of the Fallen game I'm thinking about. But let's go ahead and watch the trailer to find out more. Or this, uh, this has to be the same one I'm thinking about. On behalf of Hexworks, welcome to the Lords of the Fallen gameplay showcase. But it's not today. I'm thinking we're of something a different. Look at our all new dark fantasy action. Okay, RPG, yeah, it's something else. It's something October else. On PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. It's giving mad souls -like spiritual like successor to the original instances. 2014 release. It acts as a that's the one that's the, the one I'm talking about. So this is a spiritual successor to that one. Okay, shit. Vast, Fuck yeah. World over a thousand years later. Featuring colossal boss battles, fast, challenging combat and deep, immersive story. I wonder if I got to play that other one journey across two parallel realms in this. Oh, I like the parallel realm, realm stuff. That's the really world sick. Of the living axiom and the world of the dead. Umbro, with each featuring its own unique pathways, characters, enemies, and of course, treasures. You can't go this type of game and without while treasures. Presents its own challenges, untold horrors await in its nightmarish counterpart. Thanks to the Umbro lamp, players can enter this lightless world at any time in one of two ways: when slain by the foes of Axiom, at which point. You'll resurrect in the same location, albeit in Umbral, or by performing the Umbral Rift and oh. willingly sacrificing one of your two lives. Damn, one of your but two lives to just go into the Rift? Power, That's pretty sick. Granting the ability to flay the soul from an enemy for some high damage attacks and even manipulate the very environment. Oh, that's sick. Umbral I like world. that. However, the longer you spend in this wraith ridden plane, the greater number of spectral terrors that will hunt you down. I mean, it makes sense. You're you're a live person. But as harrowing as the so they're gonna be are, geared towards they that. Hail in comparison to the game's brutal boss battles. Oh, I love brutal boss battles. Towering above the we love that. City of Especially if you're a Souls this fan. This gargantuan monstrosity doesn't take kindly to would-be adventurers. The demonic I would imagine it doesn't. Ready to devour any and all within mm, sight. Yummy. Snack time. A merciless torturer prepared to carry out any atrocity in the name of his faith. Tancred, master of castigations, is the devout chaplain of the hallowed sentinels. Damn, you can be as devout as you want scale, and still commit atrocities like this. Conceals a truth most foul. Oh, yikes, bro. I love that. When Harrower Dervla ventured into the deepest depths of this world to thwart the undead rising, what she discovered was so utterly horrific that she renounced her former life and commitment to a far darker oath. Oh shit! Pre order we love a fallen, fallen night. night and prepare to unleash the darkness on Friday the 13th of October. Oh wow, Friday the 13th, fuck yeah! So I definitely feel like I need to play the previous. Um, oh, it looks like there's going to be stuff included, but October 13th on PS5, uh, Xbox Series X and S and Epic Games and Steam. And it looks like you get to pre-order and unlock exclusive armor items. I feel like I definitely need to play the previous Lords of the Fallen to maybe appreciate this a lot more, the spiritual successor. But I am actually really excited for this one because the other one looked like it fell short a little bit, but I'll have to verify that back on Steam. I wonder how, like, I wish they kind of separated the names a little bit to make it, like, more separated, but that's just a nitpicky thing. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this new Lords of the Fallen and uh, did you play the original one and what were your thoughts on that? But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at, but you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.